Hiya loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Becca. Please take a second to subscribe, it would mean a lot. So, here we are, the second day of Mental Health Awareness Week and this is the second video of my series of videos this week. I'm really excited to share this video with you because I wanted to chat about creativity and how any form of creativity can help you if you have a mental health issue. I know for me, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I suffer with anxiety and depression and I have done for quite a, quite a few years now. Um, it's something that, you know, like everybody, I have bouts where it's really bad, I have bouts where it's barely even there. But I think during lockdown especially, and in the past year or so that we've had, it's been a challenge to keep my anxiety especially at bay. So one way in which I deal with those bad bouts is with creativity. If you are familiar with my channel um, and my social medias as well, you'll know that I'm an actor, I'm a singer, I'm a poet. To be honest, I do a bit of everything. Like I have my own theatre company as well and I do a lot of work within the uh, community with them. I absolutely love it. Uh, creativity is something that really brings my my best out I think that it brings the best out of me most definitely I, I, I'm most passionate about it it's the thing that I trained in at drama school to to do as a career um, so it's definitely the thing that sort of lights my soul on fire you might say I think in the last two years especially I've found myself constantly turning to creating things uh, when I've been feeling very very low. I've been writing a lot, I've been writing a lot of poetry and even though I've been writing poetry since 2017, um, I think in the last year I've really taken a big step forward with it. I've started to post it online, I've started to make um, visuals uh, to go with them on Instagram, I've started to make uh, poetry videos are for YouTube and that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today uh, is how you can use creativity as a tool to help you. So a perfect example of this is a poem that I wrote called Pendulum. Uh, it is about my my sister. Um, I, a couple of years ago she got diagnosed with uh, bipolar which is a form of mental illness and uh, she's done everyone in our family proud um, in the way she has kept her composure throughout her recovery and beyond. I think she's incredible. I think my sister is incredible. If you're watching this uh, then take it in because I mean it. I think right at the beginning of her getting that diagnosis I was aware of what that mental Ill uh, illness was but I didn't know how to comprehend it fully. And as I've said, creating things is something that I turn to when I'm struggling. Uh, if I'm particularly worried or stressed or anxious, that's what I turn to. I make things and that's how I comprehend life, really. And so I wrote this poem, Pendulum, about Jess, about her bipolar in order to understand it more and I compared her bipolar to a pendulum in a clock. If you watch the video on my YouTube channel then you'll already know this poem. Um, it is one that I've shared at poetry events before um, but I want to share it a little bit more because I just love it. I, it, I think it's one of the pieces that I've written that I'm genuinely the most proud of. Um, I mean, I'm proud of all of them, but particularly that one. In writing that, as I said, it helped me understand her, uh, what she was going through and her uh, diagnosis. And therefore I could help her in a better way. You know, being someone that has a mental health issue it doesn't stop me wanting to help other people that have a mental health issue. If anything, I want to help them more, be you know, because I have experienced uh, an array of things within that sort of uh, bubble of mental health issues and I think that experience can allow you to empathise with somebody else that may be struggling and although that I'd never been through what 
Jess, my sister, went through, uh, I still could empathise to whatever extent that was and I wanted to help her in the best way that I could. And poetry was something that I think she turned to in, in that time of her uh, sort of feeling really unwell and her diagnosis. So yeah, I think that's kind of what this video is about today, um, is poetry in particular and creating things and using it as a tool to comprehend life and what's going on and what traumas you may have been through, you know, what difficult uh, situations and circumstances you may have uh, dealt with in your life. Uh, I know a lot of people within the poetry community, especially in Manchester, they uh, have used poetry as a tool to help themselves and to help others, which I think is absolutely incredible. That being said, you know, poetry isn't the only form of creativity. We all know that. For me, I like to sit down, uh, play my guitar, play a song, sing. I love to, um, on occasion, I like to draw. You know, it's, it's about allowing yourself the freedom to choose what it is you want to do that's going to help you here and now, even if it's more of an escape than a, uh, you know, a coping mechanism to help you understand something. I think having a creative outlet as an escape is really, really important. You know, maybe you're like a really good cook, maybe that's your thing. Uh, maybe, like my sister, maybe you like baking, and she's incredible at baking as well. I think as well it's given you a new skill and that new skill can sometimes take you to places that you could never imagine. So yeah, that is my video. Find the thing, find the creative thing that you're passionate about and use it, I guess. Yeah. Just before I go, I just wanted to share uh, a poem that I wrote a few years ago now. Um, and I suppose this is just for anyone who needs it um, and this is what can come from me being in a particularly um, anxious headspace. Anxiety. But what you see is the censored me from what I find scary. A haunting thought, a battle fought, but my ease not so easily bought that my lip is still taut and I cannot seem to sort what can go from naught to infinity. It's not that my trust is weak, it's reaching the peak of oblivion where the division of good and bad becomes a tad difficult. Forgive me, please, for I know you can squeeze it out of me in time, like salt and then lime. It's time you see the bittersweet before I complete the road to recovery. Let you see the side of me I'd like to set free. But not now. Don't know how. I'm not a cow, promise. I love you. And what we could do is see if a cup of tea makes me breathe easily. Thank you so much for joining me for the second of my Mental Health Awareness Week videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video and comment down below the creative thing that helps you through any difficult time in your life and of course subscribe to my channel uh, there's going to be videos coming up every day this week and there is a whole load of other videos for you to check out if you're enjoying uh, my content so far thank you again for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye